Hi everyone, this is Sean. Welcome back to my channel. Please press the like button, subscribe, share, comment. I'm looking forward to the dialogue. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for your support. In the video you just saw, that basically involved a training scenario that I put my guys through the other day. You can use bits and pieces of that scenario. You can use bits and pieces of this video, or you cannot use anything. It is totally up to you. If you work in an armed security or armed professional environment and you have a partner or maybe you have a team, you might want to discuss scenarios where you might have to go lethal and at the same time consider less lethal alternatives. And when I'm talking about less lethal, I'm talking about your taser, your pepper spray, and you're allowed to use burnas, you can replicate the scenario with using a burna launcher. As a continued disclaimer throughout all of my videos, this video is not actual training. You can't expect to watch this video and then start performing. In a real world situation, you need to first consider leaving the scene. That's sometimes actually the best thing to do. This video is designed for those who are under contract not to leave the scene, to stay in place and protect those on the property. What I like to do with my team, with the guys that I train, is I like to teach them to communicate with each other. One might say I have lethal, the other might say that they have less lethal, and they're constantly communicating. My, actually, my guys actually did a really good job communicating. Um, this scenario, if I could do a lot different, I would specifically tell them not to fire any rounds from an airsoft or their, their rifles. That they are just to mention that they're lethal and hold the subject at bay while the less lethal gets to them. See, if you get a bunch of eager guys with airsofts, <laughs> they're gonna start firing that downrange. Um, if you give them ammunition, they're gonna start firing it. So you have to be specific with them um, and, and, and tell them, look, you absolutely cannot fire in this scenario. Matter of fact, take out the magazine, render your weapon safe. You have airsoft, take the airsoft cartridges out. <laughs> take it totally out. And I just want you to concentrate on the threat that's downrange and just mention that you have lethal and hold that subject at bay while, as best as you can, wait for your, your less lethal guy to show up. And with the scenario, what I did is I had everybody run 75 yards. They ran 75 yards to the barricaded position where they're to don their gas mask, their helmet, their plate carrier, their eye and ear protection. And you might ask me, what's the significance of this? Well, it's thinking under pressure. If you have such an adrenaline dump that you can't even concentrate and you can't even put on your ear and eye protection, that's something you have to work on. Maybe you have to work on your fitness level or you have to work on your, your level of training. Are you training in the realistic scenario type of training where you're, you're getting the blood pressure up, your pulse is going up? If, if not, then you should be training that way. If you're a trainer, you guys should be training your, your students or your trainees to think under pressure. Have them do push-ups, have them do sit-ups, whatever is legally permissible within policy and procedure within your company, okay? Um, those of you who have less lethal launchers, um, from what I'm seeing in the comments is many of you have the burner launchers. In California, the Burna launcher is legal, and I'm not saying this because I'm a licensed attorney, I'm not. I'm just saying this, generally speaking, they're legal as long, there's no city ordinance that prevents them, as long as you are not using the projectiles where there's OC powder in them. Um, that is illegal. I think that might be a misdemeanor, but you, you can't use that. You can use the kinesthetic rounds, basically your rubberized rounds, um, you can use them for the, your your bringing in launchers. Um, but what I want you to do is it's really concentrate on communication. Um, these guys, I, I put them to the test. They had no prior training on how to 
react to these scenarios. I told them what the scenarios and they were to react. There's no videos that they watched. I just had them do that. Um, can they do it better? Yes. I'm actually very impressed though on the way that they communicated. Um, both of my guys together, they have close to 30, almost 40 years of law enforcement experience, maybe 30, 34 years of experience combined, maybe 38. Um, very experienced in real world environments and I love the way that they communicate. Um, I also, also one of our subscribers, um, Dominic Vetter, sent me a link to a video that he made on the, on the burner system. I think it's about an hour long video. Uh, my own criticism on the video is towards the beginning, the Fourth Amendment discussion and some of the case law pertains to law enforcement. It does not pertain to private security. That's my only criticism. If you're in private security, remember you're not bind by the laws that they discuss. However, all of the all of the laws that they discuss, they do give you some sort of standard to follow through with some some guideline. Um, in his video, I mean, it was a complete video. I found it pretty entertaining because I'm a I'm a trainer. Um, but you're gonna have to sit through all the technical knowledge as, as best as you can. If you're a trainer, try your best to pay attention. Um, if you are the receiver, meaning you're the, you're the student, um, that's a good video to watch before you head out to one of these classes. A lot of times, if you have prior knowledge of something, your ability to, to remember, to recollect knowledge are, is gonna be a lot more simpler because you have, you have a foundation to work on. So that's all I have. Um, the other part of the video, I'll show you guys another part of one of our less lethal um, situations on one of our drills. Again, these guys, this is the, the first time even performing this drill. I just gave them the instructions and they performed pr pretty good. That's all I have. Looking forward to the discussion. Hit. One hit, He's one down. 